All right, welcome back. This is M Dog, and uh, I don't know if it's what you've been waiting for. I'm not even sure if it's what I've been waiting for, but the time is nigh. Let's go see what it's like for us at Corey. Um, I want to just we're briefly going to go over our gear and just kind of talking about. If you haven't done much spin fishing up until this point, but you're level 16, you can go to Cory. Um, hopefully, I'll try to give you some ideas of what that might look like. Um, of course, the lake's going to change. Uh, things may not be biting now. They might be biting when you're here or vice versa. Um, but let's just try to go over some basics here. So when we first get to Cory, let's just look at the cafe real quick. Pretty cool uh, orders for feeder fishing, limited on um, what we'll see on uh, spinning. By the way, if anyone is here at Cory at the same time or has any, knows about any spots here, please let me know. Um, especially if you see like hot burbot spots for nighttime, that would be especially cool. But feeder fishing too. I mean, I want to keep feeder fishing when I can. Uh, the other thing we need is to find the admin building and get the... Corey map we are down to 35 silver because all that silver we saved up to um, be able to come to Corey and try to start making some money is right here on this dock uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a boat ticket we're gonna start with a one-day boat pass are we not that much more for two it's not much more for three it's not that much more for five let's be optimistic here that this is going to go well let's go ahead and get a five day boat pass all right so let's look at we've got two spinning rods both of them are heavy fish s80xh so identical rods we have different reels on each one so let's look at rod one first uh reason why i picked these rods is they've got a really decent load capacity um and they're short easy to just sort of use out of the back of the boat while we're trolling which is for now all we're going to be doing at Corey because we all we can use are spinner baits I have overloaded both of these reels just a little bit bit which might not be ideal it might be taking a little bit of risk but even with the overload it's still a lot less than the total rod capacity so we're not going to damage the rods we could do some damage to reels this is our stronger reel the Sputnik Proton 6000 we have not seen it in action yet looking forward to doing that we did put 10 kilo line, but the 10.2, but the liter is 10. So we got fluorocarbon 10 kilo liter. Uh, so it's a little bit overlaid on the Sputnik Pro. And we're using these little um, seven gram Aquila spinners. Now, very similar setup over here, except we've got even a weaker rod. We're still overloading to the exact same point, 10 kilo liter. So we're trying to get as much strength as we can out of the Adriatica. We do need to be careful though. Uh, we run the risk of causing some, a little bit more significant damage. We could even break it. I guess my thinking here is, hopefully we can tread that line, make some silver, and we also recognize that the Adriatica, in the big scheme of things, is just not that expensive of a reel. So, let's see how this goes. All right, trolling. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is turn down the uh, engine noise a little bit. So when, take a, when people talk about trolling and uh, fishing in this game, they are literally talking about having two or even sometimes three lines out the back of the boat. Which we're gonna get going now. So here's number one. Let's put the retrieval speed up to make things a little faster. We'll get friction break at about, let's start at 18 and see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna full cast, because we can't cast these very far because the test is, uh, is way low for what we want it to be. And then let's put the four, Aquila four. We have three Aquilas to choose from, 18 friction break. Let's put this one out this way. And then we're going to hit J and start trolling around Corey. Now there's a difference in trolling and drifting. I'm going to put it volume down to there. Drifting refers to turning the engine off and just flowing with the current. Which we will do in places like um, 
well, places that are rivers that have a strong enough current to do that. And so that's looking a little different. There's our first fish. And I know there's another fish on too. A little 343 gram perch. I can only imagine that we'll be catching a lot of those uh, here early on. But we'll see. All right, this is a decent looking pike. So the risk we're going to run here with pike is that if uh, we catch a lot of pike, they are potentially going to bust our leader. They might just bite right through it because we're not using still leaders. But for that reason, we will try to stay as clear as possible from the uh, places that we know pike will often bite. Okay. So early on here, really what our focus is, yeah, we'd love to make some money, but mostly what we're doing is we're trying to level up spin fishing so we can actually put some spoons on here, and um, which will probably help us do a little better. For the most part, we're probably just gonna make circles around this island, staying in some of the deeper areas, although it doesn't really matter because our spinner baits are just floating around the top anyway. And then we'll go to the western part of the, the lake and kind of do a circle here. We're going to try to stay away from the very sides where the reeds and stuff are and we're going to hope that that will cut down on our um, the number of pike we catch. That's our hope. And as you can see, at times, this is going to be really slow. But we just got to try to make it work. I think it will get more exciting once we uh, unlock the ability to use spoons. But it just depends on how well Corey's doing at that time. That is a grayling. That is the perfect fish for us to be catching here. Worth a little bit of money. They're not too big to get markers for our our skills to handle. And if we get a fish that's way too big for us, we're going to use the boat to try to track it down, stay with it, see if we can wear it out. We definitely could have some bad things happen trolling Corey with this size gear, although we may not see too many of those big fish with the spinner baits on. I just don't know. So far, number one's been a little more active than number two. We do have uh, a, another spinner bait we can cast on, throw on there every once in a while and see. In fact, why don't we go ahead and do that now? Ooh, just as I said that, a fish comes in. You can see the fish. Cory Lake is so pretty that you can uh, just see, that's what we want. We just want those graylings all day long. Here, let's go ahead and switch it just for fun. All right, we're gonna go to the Aquila 7 now. I'm gonna see what this looks like just doing 94% cast. Yeah, that is plenty far. You do not have to be super far back when you're trolling. All right, that's just a little small something. No chance this is a marker with as small as it is. I guess it could be a small marker perch, nope. So if you've done any fishing at Belaya, you'll be familiar with the graylings already. There's a little lake trout. That's what we're scared of. <laughs> All right, so lake trout came on this one. Let's see what happens next. So far, I cannot complain about the bite rate. It's been pretty decent. Uh, you'll have to get a feel for it. There are times where that lake trout was over a kilo. There are times where you'll feel like, okay, I'm going to be fighting this fish for a minute. I'm going to turn the trolling motor off, which you can always do by just hitting J. And then just pull the fish in without the fact that the boat's still moving. You can either even hit K to throw down the anchor. Um... Oh wow, somebody just caught a trophy tench at Old Berg. I guess we're committed to trying out Cory at least for right now. All right, so here's a decent sized fish. I know I'm gonna be able to give it in, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn the 
trolling motor off just so that we're not also pulling in that direction. That looks like a nice little savant. Now, guys, if we could catch little three kilo, two and a half, three kilo savants, we're going to be in quarry paradise. That was very nice. So this fish was all the way under our boat. Little Arctic char. You're starting to see all of the, the major players here. And I am really impressed with the variety and bite rate that we've got so far. Uh, yeah. Four, four decent markers plus the perch. So instead of uh, roach being the fish that we'll catch a lot of that isn't worth much, now it's going to be the perch. Should have called this account M Dog Perch, I guess. But who, who knew we would love we would go this far, make it all the way to level 16, and spend time braving it at Cory. But that's where we are. That is where we are. And we'll be doing this for a while if we're actually going to level up spin fishing to eight eight uh, 15 percent. So as long as we're making some money. We'll definitely mix it up a little bit. I'll try out different spinners. If anybody has any suggestions, let me know. We're going to try to um, uh, fish for burbot overnight again. If you know of any spots, let me know. Instead of circling the uh, island again, let's go straight over into the other side of the map. This might have a fish on it. Yeah. And honestly, we don't mind catching those little perch because... We're so low level in spin fishing, every fish we catch just about is going to give us a point in um, a point in spin fishing. So it's going to help us get to the point where we can start using spoons. So we don't mind that at all. Not a lot of activity about good places to fish at Cory on the Russian website. Um, really nothing at all. No mention of burbot or anything, so... Back on the 18th, someone was talking about catching bream and stuff, but it really didn't get very high ratings, so I'm not sure it was actually a very good spot. But yeah, if there's a good bream spot, that would even be probably more ideal for where we are right now. Um, let's see what, what, if anything, we catch over here on this side of the lake lake trout yeah I think casting these out about 90% is actually plenty far so you know you can see that even though the test is 40 gram minimum and we don't have anywhere near 40 gram on here we're still able to cast it far enough to to make it work for trolling only thing I want to be careful about when we go over to this side of the lake there definitely can be some good places to troll over here I just don't want to get super close to the side we'll start seeing a lot more pike show up and we're so low on silver it's not really worth taking a chance on getting those leaders uh, bit through any more than we have to a lot of undersized arctics right now unlike mosquito I don't think we're gonna to see too many cafe orders for undersized fish it gets a little bit more difficult to just sort of quickly fill cafe orders at some of the later lakes unless you're really able to target something Probably the ideal real size to more comfortably troll quarry, especially when we start using spoons, I would say is going to be like the um, Saber 60 or the Proton Pro. The Proton Pro instead of the regular Proton, what we have. 
but other than the like riskiest or larger fish, we can probably get a good a good bit of stuff in. All right, so we're gonna actually circle to the left here, because I know that a lot of pike over near those those edges where the weeds are and stuff can. Yeah, they can be there. Right now, we're sort of just dragging our spinners over where that 12 meter hole is as best we can. can control the boat left and right while you're while you're holding a rod uh, let's try the very basic starter spinner bait there to see see if that catches anything again I want to mix it up here If you do have a third spinning rod and you want to hold a third rod while you're trolling, especially if the bite rate seems a little slow, it's a way you can just have another line in the water. And now looking at the map, we're going to just try to go straight, straight down the chute here. And uh, hopefully we'll get some fish on. down a little bit it should pick up again as we get into more peak fishing time in the evening and then nighttime will become really slow and I don't really know what to do here at nighttime our gear only one of our available feeder setups would be even thinkable to go for like bourbon I would say the other two would be a real challenge real challenge <laughs> not a real challenge it would be a challenge of the real but you know what I mean so um, night's gonna be a little interesting you know if we found a bream spot that might be you also can just kind of go down there on the shore and fish for crucian, gibble, roach, and that kind of stuff just like you would anywhere else. It feels a little weird at Cory, but... Alright, I mean, I keep thinking like, oh, we need to change this lure again. It's not doing anything, but honestly, this one's not doing anything either. four on we didn't keep the four on very long it thought about it and then it came off it might be it's too small Lake trout. Let's try the dragonfly long for a little bit. Did not go very far at all, did it? So you see they sink down, and then as we start to move, rises back up to the top and I can already tell you we need to 
Oh, it came off. Whew. That was a big boy. And what it may be that we find is that we might need to do that a lot where we stop and let them fall a little bit and then come back up as we start to troll away again. Grayling. That worked again, didn't it? Might be onto something with that technique. I don't know that you have to do it all the time, but if you're not getting any bites, maybe try that a little bit too. Weird stuff happens when you troll though. You'll even notice sometimes if you're driving with regular speed with your engine or even fast speed with the engine, sometimes you'll get you'll get some crazy bites that way too. bites on this than the Aquila right now. Vendus? I feel like we're char fishing catching the Vendus. Again, we don't want to go too close to the shore for pike, but... We've got an 18 fish. We didn't. We weren't here in the very beginning of the day, but... And what are we up to now with spin fishing? Almost 10%. I guess we'll be there before you know it. I mean, just with how, many, how often you get points at this, at this level. The fact that it doesn't have to be a marker fish or whatever to have a chance at a skill up. Yeah, this, this side has really gotten slow, hasn't it? kind of have to hurry with the boat by overloading these reels and these aren't like huge reels anyway if the fish swims away from us too aggressively we're gonna have a hard time not getting spooled Trying to make sure we get some line back here. You don't want to. You don't want to drive the boat right at the fish either. You'll risk popping off. Yeah, we're just not. All right, hold on. 
This just got really tricky, I think. Hopefully we don't lose that other fish or get spooled. Hey, it's a marker lake trout. I'll take it. All right, we're not spooled, so we did okay. Yeah, when we hit, like, decent-sized fish, this is what we're going to be dealing with, with this size uh, gear. But you can catch these fish. It's just a matter of wearing it out and also not getting spooled. That's the, that's the issue. If you have appropriate, even sized reels, even not the strength of it, but the size of it, you have a lot more line to work with. It's hard to get spooled at quarry if you're in a boat. But if you've got, oh gosh. If you've got, um, this thing is popping all over the place. If you've got these little bitty spools, it just doesn't take much. Trying to lift it up. We just don't have much strength, much friction to do so. Be nice if we could at least see it to see what we're dealing with. But I'm not sure we've made too much progress in getting him to the surface yet. Whew. He's a mover and a shaker. The other joy is the amount of damage that we're doing to our reel. Uh-oh. Almost drove right over the stupid fish. Oh, we can see it. See a little bit of it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. So that looks like a lake trout. Oh, I think we just wore it out. Holy moly. That was on our proton too. That was our that was on our better. Our better uh, rig. On the other one that would have even been harder. So that was a six kilo lake trout that took about, you know, every bit of luck and whatever that we had to get it. And just as a reference point, just let's just look at US weeklies. I'm surprised they're not way bigger. Oh, it just started over, didn't it? The week just started over, didn't it? I was like, what in the world? I guess we could have looked at absolutes, but I didn't want to scare you too bad.
but it's, oh, it's on this daggum basic spoon again. It's like a three silver, not spoon, a three silver uh, spinner that we're catching these big boys on. This feels like about the same size as the last one, maybe. What we'd like to see, though, is a um, one of the fish that's not a lake trout, basically. They're going to be worth more money and more XP, like the Arctic char, the Savan, the, the Cory char, a regular char. Lake trout's going to be the least. All right, this is a much smaller fish. We've actually almost got him in. And then we're hopefully not going to get spooled in the meantime. All right, that's a four kilo lake trout. All right, let's see what this one's got on it. Hey, if nothing else, it's fun, right? I mean, we could not be having a more different fishing experience than what we've been doing on this leveling account than what we're doing right now. right at it unfortunately okay grab that fish okay all of our uh, decent sized fish have been lake trout so far and this um, what is this Siberia dragonfly long has been doing really well But our XP bar is moving. We're catching some de decent fish. We're leveling up our spin fishing. We'll have spoons unlocked before you know it. Although I'm not sure we need to unlock spoons. We're catching plenty of scary fish on these spinner baits for the gear we have. What I'm really curious about, and I guess we'll go get a check on this once it's like nighttime and we can't really do what we normally would do. I mean, when we can't really get as many bites trolling as, um, like, what's it worth silver-wise? Like, what kind of silver are we making right now? I wouldn't think we'd be making that much yet, but we've had a lot of non-markers. Yeah, we haven't made too much yet. Look at that fish at the line. That is crazy. You could actually see the fish taking it. It looks like a grayling, right? It's still messing with it. We don't want to do anything just there. We go. Nope, it didn't take it yet. Who knew that they played with them that long? This is kind of cool having it that close. You can really see what's going on with it. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Is it possible that it's just a tiny fish and it's actually on right now? Should we find out? Yeah, I think so. I think that was just the animation. That's a little Vendus. I think that was just the animation of the fish being on. That was crazy, though. We threw it further back this time. That was wild. really wild now if you're really dedicated and committed you can s s just troll all night you will still occasionally get bites but it is a, so much slower potentially that I usually don't troll at night especially at a place like Cory a lot of times you do want to switch the lures though darker colors typically works better at night looks more natural to the fish any really dark 
spoons or in this case spinner baits you have would probably work better this time once it gets to be nighttime. There's a fish on there. A little nighttime perch. Yeah, spin fishing up over 10% now. It's crazy. Okay, so we're going to do a uh, little check here. Um, first of all, we want to get our second one, which is actually this one, take off the Adriatica. And then we want to load the Adriatica back on this. Let's do it without ground bait. Largest size we have, regular hook. Let's do that with night crawlers. And let's go ahead and get that set up in our number one slot. We're just gonna test some things here. All right, so let's do a 25 meter clip. We're going to kind of cast out here. Let's see if we can find a burbot. And then with this, I don't know what's working for Bream right now. If anything is here. Um, so let's try Pearl Barley. I don't have any fake Bream uh, bait. So let's do, and we, we got to make some ground bait. It's expensive here though, unfortunately. Uh, and we want to do like a 10 clip. I mean, we're just kind of, th I'm throwing into a spot here that I know in the past. There's sometimes been, it might be a little more than 10. Um, and then we'll do eight do we try worm or do we try something like sweet dough let's try worm for now and uh this one let's do 12 clip i think that one's 12 is probably a little more appropriate and we're just going to start testing some spots what was that <laughs> Thank y'all for the kind comments on the YouTube videos. Um, all right, let's check cafe. Uh, let's see here. We don't have any perch that big. Really no orders for us. And if nothing happens out here, what may be better at this point for us is to go down into this area past camp and just try to get some gibbles or even burbot down there sometimes, just whatever will bite down there. I wish that we could um, Hey! Wasn't quite a full day. Look at that. It's like you just get a couple of savans, an arctic, a quarry char, a char. And even though you didn't like have that good a day, 
and the silver will come pouring in. Okay, so let's check um, the thing that I think is most likely to work of what I've got set up right now is that burbot line. I don't think those are going to work. So what did, what did I say we needed? We need some like fake bream. We need ground crackers. And we need whatever it's called. You just have to be careful. Like everything is more expensive here at Quarry pretty much, but it's also expensive to travel here. So we're going to buy a few things at Quarry here and there. It's okay. Um, but you certainly don't want to purchase like your next big reel here, unless this is the only places in stock. Cause you're going to be paying, uh, it's going to get pretty expensive here when you start about big ticket items. Nothing so far. Oh man, how cool would it be? Let's try something here. Oh, I just love Corey. It's such a beautiful, beautiful lake. I don't know why it's doing that where it's popping up like that. Now, Burbit, if we can get some, on some Burbit spots, Burbit can just be, um, it's okay XP. It's really good silver though. zero idea if this is going to work or not. Now, if we can't get it to work down here, we probably will be able to get it worked down on the other side. Let me just go make sure we don't have a burbot on. The thing I'm trying to set up here is the water is so crystal clear. Some spots, even at night, you can... see the fish come up, start sniffing at your bait. that one we might have a little too shallow but you'd be surprised how shallow you can have your bait in this game oh my goodness there's a fish on not far enough is it
Those little rough will be hard to see though. Trophy bream is 4.4, .4, I believe, folks. So you don't see the fish until it spawns to try to come get your bait. Wait. Oh crap, I missed another one. I see it now though. I can't get, oh, there we go. It's a little roach. It's probably not it's a little too shallow maybe I'm gonna get stuck and not be able to do anything All right, there we go. Let me off this death trap. Okay, let's hope for the best. We need to get out there trolling here in a second though. Let's go ahead and get, um, get reset up. Oh, there you go. Look at that. This is why things nibble. This will, this will explain some of the mechanics of what happens and when a fish is actually owned versus just biting. Now it's on. Now it's on. And then you see like it's not pulling the line yet. So you're not getting bell rings. It's just like going in circles. So that's when you see that like slack really start coming in the line. Typically that's because a fish is doing what this fish is doing, which is trying to get away with your bait. This is actually a reasonably sized fish. Wow. We've got something on night crawlers too. I just love it. If I was, you know, if somebody was interested in this game, they're trying to figure out if they wanted to play it. I've always said to me, I would take them to Cory. Let them see Cory, this crystal clear water. There's a lot of different types of fishing here. Mo a lot of people, especially in North America, are familiar with spin fishing. So um, there's a lot of good spin fishing here. And then there's also just the beautiful water. All right, so we want... This is the annoying part. And this is like something I never do on my main account. I always figure out a way where I've got enough gear where I don't have to switch around like this. It's a stupid thing, it's lazy, but that's just what I like to do. Okay, let's just do a little bit more trolling before that we wrap this video up. Um, I am still tempted by this. Let's see, the spoons start where? Right here. It's not like any of them are just like the greatest lures ever. It's, it's just not that good a deal, but um, just kind of curious how who chose what, what to put in there and all that. But all right, let's see what else we could try. I'd love to try one of these expensive ones, but it doesn't feel like that makes sense right now. Let's go down into the cheaper stuff. Um, get one of these suckers I hate that that one's out of stock especially here at quarry that would be interesting what about an 01 though or an 02 Ooh, what about that one and then blue is always fascinating 
Let's do that one though. And the reason why I say that is because sometimes the orangey red stuff will occasionally works better with like the quarry char. So I kind of want to try that. Let's get out here a little bit before we throw them in. Try to avoid that first pike that we normally catch. The other thing we can do is just like flip it a little bit so that we're casting to the side more. All right. What the heck? So let's start off with that new one we bought. That'll be on number one. All right, our, our number one and number two is switched now. That's going to mess me up. So let's go with... Um, actually, let's do try... Let's do try this on this, but let's remember that this is actually... This is actually number two. So we've got our cheap our cheap little spinners on here right now. So what I want to do is um, switch these out. All right, that should be set. That should be number one now. Yeah, it is. All right, let's go. Get some early morning, uh, early morning fishing in. Let's catch something good, huh? There you go. This one has been so reliable ever since we put it on. Is that a little grayling? I approve of that grayling. Hey, nice eel. All right. There's our newest purchase. I'm telling you, I bet some of these cheap spinner baits are going to be fantastic. Fantastic here. It's not too big a fish. I mean, well, maybe, I don't know. So our whole goal here is can we start to raise him up? Uh-oh. All right, hold on. What we're always hoping for is when this happens, at least one of them is one we can just like manhandle in. Uh oh, we're gonna lose that other one. Look how much slack is in the water. Come on. Stay on there. Shoot, I really wanna see what that other one has on it. Still on there, let's go get him. Come on. He's close to the boat now. Holy cow, he's under the boat. What have we gotten into? Okay, hold on. We got to go straight away from him. He's like down at the bottom. Okay, I see him. Oh, that looks... That's a nice eyed. That's cool. That spinner called an eyed. Hey, that's a weekly. Everything's a weekly right now. kind of fun, isn't it? Something really different. And again, we like those little perch. Just level up our spin fishing. This thing is on fire. I can't even put this in the water.
it is catching a bunch of small stuff, but again, leveling it up. Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, friction brake way too high. I'm just really curious about this lure. Fish on. Alright, if this is another undersized fish, I'm going to put at least one of the Achilles back on this side. Oh, that's a nice Vendus, though. Alright, let's try... It's sunny. Let's try this one. And fishing's at 12.6. We're gonna have spoons unlocked next next episode, I think. But I'm honestly really enjoying fishing with the spinner baits. That looks like a nice one. Depends on what type of fish. Is that a grayling? No, a little pike.
Whoa. Guess what, guys? I could tell by the, um... The shape and color of that fish that we were in for something here. Struggle is real. I want to see him again. Okay, I'm thinking lake trout. He's wanting to come in. Yes. I like it. All right, we've had this one on for a while and it hasn't done too much. So let's let's try the uh, 03 again. This was the one of the ones we tried at the very beginning and did pretty well. Look how that's doesn't that look weird? Kind of looks weird to me. And one thing you can do is you can kind of throw like in front of you or to the side of you. It will, um, Sometimes work pretty well as it sort of rotates back to behind the, the boat. That fish just dove with it. Looks like a reasonable perch. Everybody may have their own threshold. Someone in chat was asking. 
you know how realistic it that you can get to a spot where in the end game day you could make like a thousand silver an in game day so that's like a in real in real time that would be in an hour and that's not i would not have that as your as a realistic goal i mean i think you're trying to find spots you can make 200 silver per real life hour and then when you do find something that's way more than that or is more than that you enjoy it and you take advantage of it if, you know as long as you can if you're having fun but if you have the like expectation that you're going to make that kind of silver per hour like that's that's very un, that's rain it's rare um especially at lower to mid levels i would say Sometimes those spots at Amber, you can make a ton of silver, but a thousand silver an hour, I mean, that's just, that's not going to usually be consistent. All right, it's almost noon. I think this is a good time to start wrapping up. We made it through the morning. We've gotten some good shots of fish hitting hitting these lures and um, it's also fun to see some of those fish in this crystal clear water over on the shore come up and I'm sure we'll do some more of that while we're at quarry if we stay here and fish a lot we'll go try some feeder fishing down on the shore at some point and watch the fish come in There are common carp here and a lot of the usual suspects you would expect. Okay, we probably didn't add too much to our silver total there, but we had some fun. We did get two of the perch totals. I guess if you kept going trolling, making that order for 42 silver just for catching perch is a possibility. Um, our pike weren't quite big enough and we were really trying to avoid pike, which is uh, which makes the most sense to me. Again, if we can find a bream or white bream or a reliable rough spot to do at night, anything just to sort of supplement the night. So we end up with 148 silver, not bad. I will certainly take it for our first time here at Quarry. And um, I don't know that I'm gonna do it, but I am definitely tempted by like one of these 12 gram hornets. It's just a lot of silver. Even in other places, it's like over 50 silver. I don't know if anybody has tried them here. Um, one thing we can look, look at is like ultralight records at quarry. Um, People definitely like overload ultralight and they're not always using spinner baits, but like the 4G04. And I think we got seven gram, didn't we? See, it might be worth trying the smaller one. It might be that the bite rate with the smaller one is, is better and still getting some decent fish. Um, 
and even looking at weekly on ultralight as we as this we're too early in the week to really see it but it's just good to see what other people are using It'll give you ideas um, but you have to specifically look at fish that uh, people are going to be catching at quarry stuff that we can't do yet um, what about the there's one fish or there's a few fish that's really only at quarry and we're not using ultralight but we are using close enough to ultralight here we go quarry lake quarry char yeah so like a elegant spin 1008 and that's from you know earlier today elegant spin 1008 got a quarry char it's pretty cool hey is that that one we were looking at the hornet number 1005 I bet this elegant spin 1008 isn't even that expensive. Elegant spin. So we could try that. Was it eight? That's a little bit of silver. I want to make sure I'm getting this right. What was it, Quarry Char? I like these type five, three gram. Those are cool, but this isn't weekly. We want to look at weekly ultralight. See what's happened recently. It is the eight elegant spin one oh oh eight. Elegant spin one oh oh eight. I'm willing to try that for 21 silver. It's four gram. Let's try it. All right, so next time we'll have something new to try. Um, let's put it on this one. And then we'll start off with the dragonfly on the number two because that one was so hot last time. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. There's Corey for you. We're going to be here for a little while. Uh, we might, you know, go back and forth some, but we'll be here off and on for sure. So thanks for watching.